In this problem we have two sets. The first set is GLN of R. This is called the general linear group. It's the set of all n by n matrices with non-zero determinant and real entries. Um, you can also say it's the set of all n by n invertible matrices with real entries. We could have easily replaced the set of real numbers with the set of complex numbers and nothing here would change. Uh, SLN of R is called the special linear group. In this video we're going to prove it's a subgroup of GLNR. We're going to prove it's a group essentially. Um, it's the set of all n by n matrices with determinant equal to 1 and real entries. So clearly it's a subset uh, because 1 is a non-zero number. Every element in the special linear uh, group, which is still yet to be proven, uh, is an, also an element in the general linear group. Um, so to prove it's a subgroup, we have to satisfy the subgroup criteria. So in general, the subgroup criteria says three things. So one, uh, our set, in this case our H will be the special linear group, uh, is non-empty. Two, uh, given any two elements, X, Y, and H, um, the product also has to be an H. This is saying that H is closed under the group operation. And this has to be true for all X, Y, and H. And three, uh, given an element X and H, the inverse element also has to reside in H. And this has to be true for all X and H. And this is basically saying H is closed under inverses. Okay, so let's go ahead and carefully prove that it's a subgroup. So here, this is going to be our H. And this here is our G. So we're going to show that H is a subgroup of G. This, this um, means subgroup. This, this inequality symbol is shorthand for subgroup. All right, let's go ahead and do it very, very carefully. Um, so let's try it. So proof. I actually haven't done this problem. I'm just kind of making it on the spot. But I'm, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to figure it out. Let's see. So uh, we have to show that H is uh, non-empty. So to come up with a matrix uh, in uh, H, well, what's a matrix that has determinant 1? Uh, I believe I, right, the identity matrix. So note, I, which is the n by n identity matrix, so we're going to use some linear algebra to do this entire proof, uh, has determinant one. So I is in this this set which is going to be called the special linear group. So this shows that I, or rather that the special linear group is a non-empty set. So the first uh, the first condition uh, of our criteria is satisfied. So now we have to show that given two elements in this set uh, the product is also in the set. Okay, so now take any uh, let's call them A and B. A, B in this set. Okay, and we have to show that the product is in this set. We can also just show this uh, step as well and be done with the proof. Um, so first let's show the product is there. Uh, so we naturally have to look at the product. Before we do that though, we typically write down what this means. So what does this mean? Well it means, this means, well what does it mean to be in this set? It means that these matrices have determinant 1. This means that the determinant of A is equal to 1 and the determinant of B is equal to 1. That's what it means to be in this in this set here. I'm, I, I want to call it the special linear group, but we're proving it's a group, so it bothers me to call it a group. Now we have to show that the product is in that set. Well, that would mean that the determinant of the product is equal to 1. So the natural thing to look at is the determinant of the product of A and B. So you have debt AB, and we have to show that this is equal to 1. Well, this is actually pretty easy uh, if you use some linear algebra. Uh, there's a formula that tells you that the determinant of a product is equal to the product of the determinants, right? And this requires proof, okay? Um, the determinant of A is 1. The determinant of B is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So we have that the determinant of the product is equal to 1. So this means that AB is in our special linear group. 
So this shows that the special linear group is closed under the group operation, right? So that takes care of that. Now we're supposed to take an element uh, in our set and show the inverses in the set. Let's just go ahead and use this same one um, because we already have it. Um, just being a little bit lazy here. So, so we have to look at the determinant of the inverse of a. So note the determinant of a inverse. Well, this is actually equal to the determinant of a to the negative one. It's a formula. It's a formula from linear algebra. It's not a hard proof. Um, and the determinant of a is one. So this is one to the negative one, which is just one. So the determinant of a inverse is equal to one. So this shows that a inverse is in our special linear group. And now we can actually call it a group because we've shown three things. We've shown it's non-empty. We've shown that given any two elements, the product is there. So it's closed under the group operation. And given any single element a, the inverse is there, so it's closed under inverses. So we've shown all three criteria. So therefore, we have shown that the special linear group, oh, failing here, <laughs> is a subgroup of the general linear group. And that completes the proof. That's it.